So sometime in the last whenever, yours truly, Kev, hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for that. Most people do a huge thank you celebration. I chose to do self-torture. One of you was all like, hey, can you do Starro the Conqueror, like from Suicide Squad? And remembering how much I love Margot, I was like, yeah, totally. Then they were like, how fast can you do it? And I was like, I, I don't know, maybe like a week? Thinking back to how many divorces must have happened to get those shots done. No, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. I jumped in Blender where all people go first thing in the morning and I made a cylinder because I could get five faces out of it. Starfish have five limbs and so does this thing because it, it's a big starfish. Let me know in the comments if anything else is five limbs. I, I could look it up, but after that spider video, I totally want to see your responses to that. Once I extruded the limbs out, I was almost done and ready to sell it on CG Trader. I hit subdivide to get more polygons and added in the round area for the eye and cut into the limbs with edge bevels to get the opening. It's not where the little annoyers will fly out. They come out of the armpit area like New Jersey. And I can say that because I know what's on Clinton Road. Anyway, I shaped them and I cut down the middle to get the edge in there. When I was totally and completely satisfied, I gave this thing a multi-res modifier and went into sculpting, where my skill set totally sucks. I sculpted out some bumps and stuff and then realized I was trying to move fast to see how fast I could do this. Fast means I could cut corners. In this case, I detached the sculpt limb and then duplicated them around and then attached them all back together. It was like a puzzle and you stitch back together later by merging point by point and make your eyes bleed. It's fun, you should try it. Once I had that, I suck sculpted some more and fleshed it out. Suck sculpted. Noun, verb, adjective, adverb. To completely suck at sculpting, but still show your mad skills in a video for the world to laugh at. Now, I knew I needed a texture, as all conquerors do. I ran a crease down the middle, then projected the UVs. That gave me two sides to work with, a front and a back. If you make a seam from a crease, then hit unwrap, it works really well like 6% of the time. And 6% is okay. I made a texture out of it and then painted on it. I decided to make it orange because this is my version. This is Kev the Annoyer, my own character creation. Like McDowell's from Coming to America or what they have in Russia now. Watch closely as a master paints. I can feel your anger. Your hate makes you powerful. Strike me down in the comments and your journey toward the dork side will be complete. Just, just kidding, I'll ban your, I mean, I like positive and you should too, unless it's a disease. Anyway, I didn't want to spend too long here because I knew that I didn't need much. A little goes a long way. And there are other material properties that help like subsurface scattering and displacements. At this point, it was okay. So it was time to make the eye. I cut up a sphere, duplicated it and made a cornea and an iris out of it. I could have made the epithelium and all that stuff, but nah, this is quick crap. I'll leave the medical animation for the medical work that I do, which is fun, fulfilling, and actually world-saving, unlike some other stuff I... Yeah. I found a free iris image online, and I made it work for this. The cornea is transparent, and the iris is not. Once I had it fit, I did a test render, and cool, that just might work. Now, I did some more modeling to the eye to give it more life and shape, and yeah, great. Here, I cleaned up a little bit, and I was about three hours into this project because I kept getting interrupted by cats asking me to feed them, those little savages, and decided it was time to animate. I gave the guy some bones, duplicated them around, and subdivided them. Then I parented them out to a central bone and gave the legs IK. I have this file on Patreon where you can like totally dissect it if you want. It's similar to the meat monster video I did a while back or the spider video that I did like a month ago. Once I had all that working, about three hours and 42 minutes in, it was time to animate. Keep in mind, I'm working stupid fast and cutting corners like crazy here. This is not the stuff you do in production mostly, just, just saying. So, I animated straight ahead here, no pose to pose. Another huge no-no. Well, I mean, I can't say that. I did some poses, but mostly just straight ahead, making sure to address anticipation, follow through, wait, yada yada, baby Yoda, all that stuff from Illusion of Life. Perfect? <laughs> no, but I'm speeding. Many animators can spend a whole week for four seconds of animation. This is like, not that. I could have rendered it out and been done with this video, but no, I torture myself. Every Kev the Annoyer needs a building to smash, and this one is no different. I built a home for him. It's a cylinder with some bevels and extrusions and a few squares around the base and, oh, a door. I spent a little while on this and I gave it some UV coordinates and a brick texture. It was looking like an English pub, which Decoded can tell you all about. I can't because I'm not English and I can't even do a convincing English accent. I know because I was told that by like some Eng Englishes. 
So once I had the UV and texturing done, I saved it out as an OBJ and saved the animation of the starfish as an Alembic and brought it into Houdini. Now the Blender people hate this for some reason, but fracturing in Blender still sucks. It's getting better, but it doesn't handle the data well, so Houdini it was. I decided to manually set up fracturing in Houdini using point clouds to break this up how I wanted to break it up. I didn't use material fracture for this because it was slow. It's beautiful, it works really well, and I love it, but it's slow. Voronoi Fracture and some edging should work well. The nice thing about Houdini is that it can handle lots of breakup with ease, unlike some other people. And you can usually crash out by hitting escape without crashing the whole program. That and there's plenty of diagnostic tools for when you need to know why something just won't work. Simulation time sucks, but you know, that's what sleep is for. I explained this whole setup on Patreon for the few of you who might like to see it, along with a growing number of Houdini explainers. The link is in the description. Once I had this set up and working in a sim, I tested it out and it was working. Once I knew it would work, I went back into Blender and I created a better building with concrete and rebar because rebar. Then back in Houdini, I plugged it back into my sim and the flipbook looked decent. Great. I added some debris and smoke emitted from the fractured brake surfaces with a little custom setup and stealing a bit from the smoke setup, making sure to kill buoyancy a bit, and saved it out as a VDB sequence, and saved the Alembic too, and then... Back into Blender. I animated the camera and rendered the whole thing out. The awesome thing about Cycles is that it'll pretty much render anything you throw at it, as long as you have enough RAM. It's awesome. I would be great as a Hydra delegate, except for the BVH building, which when you have moderately large sims, takes forever. Fix it. I'm on an Emperor Palpatine kick in this video. Check out BJ Wimpy if you have it on here. I'll link to him in the description. He's hilarious. Like, I totally don't know that dude, but he, he's funny, and I, I spread the funny. Once rendered, I then comped it in Fusion. I didn't have that many layers for this one, and things just look decent. Fusion is awesome if you can't or don't want nuke or after effects. The comp worked, so great. I also colored it in DaVinci Resolve. Keeping everything in Asus color space from Blender through Resolve really helped. I gave it the Suicide Squad color grade by trying to match the look of the film that I'm not showing here because, like, lawyers and stuff. And BAM! One hundred thousand subs versus Kev the Annoyer. <laughs> Just kidding. Looking at the results, there are many things I'd add, like better character animations, soft body jiggle, slower smoke, maybe more detail in the modeling, more refined texturing on a starfish, a, a couple more debris patches, and something, anything to define visual scale. Like Margot. Why didn't I do that here? Ah, the demands of modern capitalism. I gotta help other people buy yachts, you know. Let me know in the comments if you own a yacht. This was fun though, and a great chance to use some things I don't usually get to do at the day job. Smashing things is fun, building things is better, and helping people is the best. Here's the video where I go over bones and rigging. You won't be disappointed. I won't beg you to subscribe, but you know, if you want to, just, just saying. Later.